Hey guys, what's up? I'm Palak Lakhani. In this channel, I make educational videos focusing mainly on studying, working and living in Germany. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. In today's video, we have uh, Santosh with us. He is living in Berlin for past uh, two years. He recently graduated uh, from TU Berlin and he has a lot of experience working uh, part-time so i thought of making this video with him and uh, share his experience with all of you so you will be able to find part-time jobs at the end of this video so let's get started with today's video right. welcome to my channel the most important question is how can a student find part-time jobs in Berlin? There are a lot of sites to students can register in their websites. Um, firstly, they need the proper documents if they want to register in that website. Okay. Which websites can be used for finding part-time jobs in Berlin? Uh, well, there are some websites, uh, StudyTemps, it's also called as jobmensa.de okay. and the effect 2 and student part out, time partner, and some of the restaurant jobs like Liferando, Fudora, Dilviro and there are some other jobs we can find it like work student jobs, LinkedIn, Indeed. All the websites which he mentioned in this video, I will put the link of those websites in the description below so you can take a look. What documents are required uh, for a student to start working as a part-time? The documents uh, required is a student visa, health insurance, tax number, social security number, uh, student matriculation, and basic German skills. So what is the minimum wage that a student can uh, get here in Berlin? Usually it depends upon the job, what you are doing, where you are doing. Uh, usually they used to pay 10 euro per hour, but if you work in the night shift, they will pay more, okay. around 15 euros. Sometimes they will pay more than 15 euros. If you work on weekends like Saturdays, Sundays, it's depend upon the time and where you are working, what kind of work you are working. I think the minimum salary, uh, the German, they must pay 9.19 euro. Okay. So the maximum student websites, they used to pay 10 euro per hour. Okay, great. Money that you earn doing part-time jobs, is it enough to survive here in Germany? Yes, of course. Like uh, if you work for 5 to 10 days, you will get around 400, 450 euros per month. I think it's a uh, um, maximum it will cover you. If you want to more money, you can work more and you will get more money. But I think to survive in Berlin, minimum you need 600 euros per month. Okay. So what kind of part-time jobs are available here in uh, Germany? Like there are many jobs here. There are some packing jobs and the restaurant jobs. Some things you just need to help in uh, hotels, uh, shopping malls, uh, scanning, inventory jobs. There are different kind of jobs. When they need the uh, people and they will uh, contact with the student website and they will contact the students based on the requirement. Okay. Uh, what kind of tax reductions are available for students who work part-time? Uh, basically, for the students, it won't be much uh, tax deductions. If you work for a mini jobs, that means if you work for only 400 euros per month and there is no tax deduction at all. And if you work for more than 450 euros, then you will, uh, they will deduct the tax around 10%. And if you work more than 800 euros, then it will deduct more. It depends upon the which tax class you are. If you are married and your tax class is different, if you are a single, your tax class is different. So, I think uh, for students, there is not much tax deduction. Okay. How many days in a year can a student work uh, part-time? Usually, uh, the, st uh, the student can work 120 full days to 40 half days. Uh, if you work for 8 hours, it counts as a full day. Okay. And if you work for 4 hours, it counts as a half day. Okay. So, if you work for 4 hours a day, then you can work for 240 days. If you work for more than 4 hours, then you have to work for only 120 days okay and, and it's uh, better to keep on track how many days you are working then it won't be a, it won't might be any problem in the future okay uh, the students sometimes they can work full-time job uh, when they have a semester break when they have a holidays they can work for full-time jobs uh, students usually do in amazon and packing jobs they used to work for months full-time job okay you mentioned earlier that uh, health insurance is mandatory here uh, in germany yes. right could you please tell something about it? 
Yes, if you have to work in a Germany, health insurance is mandatory. If you work for a full-time job, the companies will pay for you the health insurance. Uh, as a student, uh, they, they won't pay your health insurance. You have to take care about your health insurance and you have to show them you are paying the health insurance. Okay. There are two kinds of health insurance. There are public health insurance and private health insurance. But for the student's job, they used to allow the both. But if you want to do a full-time job, you must have to pay the public health insurance. Okay, great. There are some jobs like when you work in gastronomy, in for example, in McDonald's, Subway, or KFC, then you have to show this red card. So what is this red card and from where can you get it? Yes, the, if you want to work in a restaurant jobs, this red card is mandatory. Usually you have to go to the Gesundheit home in the local area where you are living and you have to take an appointment before going there. And they, they used to give the presentation about uh, 30 minutes. So in that presentation, it's usually in German, but you can understand by showing the presentation. They used to show about how to work, you have to use the hand gloves. For example, if you have any cough and fever and something, you, are, you cannot go for work. How safe you can work, they usually say this one. Okay, great. And is there any charge for uh, taking this red card? Yes, yeah. they usually charge 25 euros. I think 25 euros, it depends sometimes. Okay. There is one more requirement for uh, working as a part-time here in Germany and that's your bank account, right? Bank because you always, I mean, in most of the cases, you get salary in your bank account. Bank account. What time of the month is the salary uh, deposited in your bank account? So basically, they used to pay uh, the 15th of the next month. For example, if you work for a June, they will pay you on July 15th, the, uh, the whatever you worked in the June month. Okay. And okay. some uh, companies, they will pay between 5 and 10. It okay. depends. For example, if you check with the UCM, the website, they used to pay between 5 and 10, 10th of the next month. Okay. But usually the most companies, they used to pay 15th of the next month. Okay. Where can a student work here in Germany to settle his account? You know, there are many jobs where you can work just for three months and then you don't need to work for the rest of the nine months. <laughs> yes. So which, which jobs are like this? Yeah, basically, students prefer Amazon and Flaconi jobs. So in this Amazon, you can earn easily the money. In the last time, you will get the huge money. So students used to work two, three months there and they will earn around 4,000, 5,000 euros. Then they will uh, stop for the whole year. Yeah. So I think it's good to do Amazon jobs. And in Berlin, there is another company called Flaconi. Um, in the Flaconi also, there are many students used to work there. Okay. If you go there and you can see the many students, they work together and we have some fun together. Okay. So this is the some places, Amazon and Plokoni. These are the meeting points where we can find many students. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Santosh, for this detailed interview. I hope it helps all of you to find jobs once you are in Berlin. And if you still have any doubts or any queries, then you can put them in the comment section below. And you can always contact Santosh. He is uh, here in Berlin. So his experience will also help you. And you can also contact me if uh, you like. And if possible, then we will surely try to help all of you. That's it for this video, guys. And I hope you liked the video. If you did, then please hit the like button and also consider subscribing my channel and share this video with your friends who, who are in search of a part-time job. Uh, see you in the next video. And till then, take care and stay safe.